You know, that's really, really creepy. Especially in a game like this. What's up, everyone? This is All Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Child of Light. Last time. Last time, a lot happened. A lot was revealed. And long story short, we were betrayed by our own sister. And now, we are stuck here at Umbra's castle. Though we have managed to free our friends and be reunited with them, we've made a new friend, however, kind of doubting we'll see Nora ever again. Or at the very least, she'll be ever be part of our party ever again. In this episode, we are going to continue our escape of Umbra's castle. Before we do that, there are a few things that I want to do. First is that when everyone left the party, all of their oculi was returned to me. So I basically had to put everyone's oculi back on, and I've made a few adjustments as well. So this is how everyone's oculi is doing. Also, I did not read confession number four at the end of last episode, and I'm a little bit of a shame that I kind of forgot about that. So let's go ahead and read it. Confession number four. Pen scratches paper, the first to attack. Some lines end, ink out, well important, dry. Others drip, ruining many an eye. Some run off the page and never come back. Others bleed, cloaked in gowns of black. Father above son, rarely crossing wives. Boxes in pairs line up to die. All burn as they sign the hollow pact. Treaties. Trees and battle plans end the same. Under one foot executed. Spells dry. Spells cried. Our kin ambushed in Sinbill's name. Family strikes out family. For crowns red dyed. Ink on paper drips down. Brows like rain. Poison pen plants a forest of pain. Okay. I guess... The similarities between just treaties and battle plans, all are written down on paper, and all kind of for a same cause. And for some people, they are the same thing. Still, we do have a bit of backtracking to do. Now that we have a Nicholas and everyone else back on our side, we can go ahead and open up these chests now and try to get some more oculi, potions, and things of that nature. Now, how do we our exit gain? First, unfurl the spool of chain. Igniculus, free us from this plight. Ready to shine my light. Uh... Okay, thank goodness. I can still leave and then come back. Uh, bleh. Well, there's some guys... There's some guards there, but they're not what I'm looking for. Like I said, I have no idea if I'm even going to be able to come back here. I mean, maybe this is, like, just, like, a glimpse as to what, like, endgame will be. And then eventually I'll be able to come back here. However, I kind of doubt it will be easy if, if at all we'll be able to get back here. Damn it. I kind of felt a little overpowered right there. Just one swipe from Aurora, and that's all it took. Isn't this swell, Tristus? We're in the same troop. In battle, I suppose our act will be sharpened. Ha! <laughs> you always make me laugh. My only fan. Thanks to you, I'm not disheartened. Aw. Well, wait a minute. Was that still just basic interactions with Tristus? Okay, that's... That's somewhat... I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's funny or sad, but whatever. I mean, we did kind of get Tristus... Really, like, right before all the crap hit the fan. He came in at a really... Oh, that's... 
where we entered from. Okay. He came in at kind of a really bad time. I mean, literally as we were leaving Lemuria, or at least we were thinking of leaving Lemuria, we we got ow. We got Tristis. So it was like, hey, a new friend. Bye. Although, yeah, we we're going to see a lot more of him, I can already tell. Uh, if I can sneak back into this guy. Yes! I knew there were more of these. Just as unstoppable elixirs. Okay, and I believe that is all. I know there were still some other things that we could have potentially gotten. Ow. I know there were a few other things that we could have gotten, but I think they were mostly... Jeez, that guy was really good for me. But they were at the Temple of the Moon, so I don't believe that there's really much else. And I think we've gotten everything we can potentially get. Oh, there's a chest up here. Just has two tumbled sapphires. All right. So now we can go ahead and stop that. Ugh, what an ugly sound. The gears need to be unbound. Go ahead and grab these wishes. Go ahead and do that. And that. Um, that did not seem to be at all what I needed to do. Perhaps that. And hey, it worked, I think. No, it didn't. I thought it worked for a moment. Now it will. I thought those two gears were together. Apparently not. What? What's in the way? There's only so many combinations. Maybe it's just these two need to be out of the way? But wasn't that how it started? <laughs> um, kind of? I thought I s that was the first combination I tried with that. It's not working. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something, unless there just happens to be a combination I haven't tried. I mean, I know I've done that. Gears just don't want to wait. It has to turn the other direction. Or maybe not. Okay, so there is a lot more to this than meets the eye. Perhaps that's it. Yeah, Aurora got up. That was it. Okay. I did not see that lever right there. So I was really confused. Princess. Down we go. Not a moment to lose. Cre... What the heck? Creps... Crepusculum. Crepusculum is on her way. The prisoners to abuse. What are the risks? Will we get caught? Run! We have to get out of here. Tron! Alright. I'm kind of with Finn right there. We do... I need to get the crap out of here as quickly as possible. At the same time, there are goodies. And I loved myself some goodies. Especially Stardust. Alright. Actually, we did get another piece of Stardust. Okay, magic. Magic. Well, I suppose I can give that to Aurora. And then MP Stardust. Ooh. Additional three MP. Who to give that to? Well, I'm not sure that would really benefit Finn all that much. I mean, it might give him an extra spell, but if I'm going to be encountering a lot of dark creatures, then I'm going to need Aurora to have as much light magic as possible. So we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, right. Aurora leveled up. And I got interrupted by that conversation with Tristus. Okay, well. I suppose I can go for elevate damage. I can keep working towards that, and no one else leveled up. No, it was just Aurora. Alright. So down we go this way. Let's avoid that. He is a new enemy. Let's wait for him to turn around, or, you know, go that way, and then I can get him. Oh, 
Okay, so... Alligator Guardsman. Oh, boy. Um... What can I do? Uh, let's switch out... To... Rubella. We'll switch out... Um... Uh, crap. Oh, yes. Rubella, go ahead and use Topple on... Eh, use it on the Bird Guard. That worked out quite nicely. Uh, Aurora, go ahead and smack the bird guard. Cause he's a pretty much a whip. Okay, Rubella, tumble. Nice. Okay, slow him down, slow him down, slow him down. And Aurora, go ahead and use Starlight. And Rubella, smack him. Smack him. All right, wow, that was a crit. Okay, this guy has some pretty good defensive capabilities. Probably both in physical and def and magic power. Although he's still not a match for us. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, sweet. And at least Rubella leveled up. Is it just Rubella? No, Onya is also leveled up. Hooray. And I should probably try to work a bit more on Oculi. And I'm kind of surprised that the other party members aren't really commentating about Ongyas. Let's see. Well, oh. Right! How did I forget that already? Um, well, I suppose we're working towards... Are we working towards a better revive or ailment protection? Um, heal all would actually be really nice. And this one is counter heal. Which we already have a counter heal, but it's 30% to d heal more damage if dropped below us in a higher percentage. So, yeah, we'll go towards counter heal. And Ongyas. Uh, we already got to the armor of the titans. I guess kiss of death is the next thing. Okay. Wait for him and get him. Stupid guard dogs, but at the very least, they give a very good amount of XP and they gain some level ups for a lot of people and a ruby because I can't get enough rubies apparently. All right, and the chest has <laughs> even more rubies. Okay, let's go ahead and we've almost got that better monsoon, so that's nice. Uh, we got the better antidote. What else can we work towards for Robert? Antidote all? Um, Sure Shot would be a very nice thing, so let's work towards that. And Tristis, ooh, Unstoppable. Where's the, there's the marker. Let's go ahead and get Unstoppable. All right, and Oculi Crafting. Oh my, do we have a lot of Oculi. Actually, it wouldn't be a bad thing to get some Citrines, because I don't really have many of those. Uh, let's see, I can do that to get a face-aided ruby. Um, do I have another face-aided ruby somewhere? I don't. I do have a tumbled ruby, though. So, if possible, I could get another brilliant one. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, sure, we'll do that for the tourmaline. And that way we get a face aided tourmaline. We'll get the the citrines together. Uh we'll those are tourmalines. Um what could I do? I mean I have plenty of rubies. So it's not like I'm really running low on anything of those. Uh you know what? Let's go ahead and do that and then we can make ourselves a face-aided citrine. All right, now let's go ahead. We'll increase Aurora's maximum HP with that. Uh, do I have a better amethyst? I don't. Um, do I have a better tourmaline? I do, and that would actually work better. Um. 15% for pro six. Oh, okay. Actually, that would work much better for Robert. Let's go ahead and give Robert that. 
Uh, tumbled citrine, dodging, that would be very helpful. Uh, tumbled citrine, eh, do I have a better sapphire? I do. So we'll go and do that. And that will do it for the oculi crafting for now. Alright. Um, I can head over this way for a chest. Chest has... Even more rubies. Fantastic. Well, I just did Oculi Crafting. So, I think I'll hold off on that for the next time I do that. Okay. There's- Ah! Uh! Crepsilian holds the moon near the bridge's top. You will join us, not? Princess. My name is Ongus. The Kat- The Katagida. My clan. Soldiers. We are the best. We strike with Jupiter's lightning when we are put to the test. Once the darkness fell, sword and spear we raised to the sky. The night, she arrived in a chariot, flaming serpents at her side. By Aaron, she flung magic, and none of us could fly. My clan to the top of the tower drew, the highest of the high. Metal gleamed faint in the twilight. We were destined to die. The knight took the tower. Condemned our sentence she was to carry out. Until my sword I raised and pledged to aid her. She sent the other, the other Kategida to jail with a shout. Princess, I must free them. There is no doubt. Enter the prison with me or fly. You must decide. Okay, well, I do want to aid him, but that look that just looks like the exit. All right, Ongez, we'll help you. We shall help K Katagida out. Your Majesty, beware the other guards. Dark creatures devout. Alright, so onwards we go. To help Ongez's plight. Alright. So it seems like there is a lot more to explore here. But, Ongez helped us out. It's only right that we do the same. Alright, there's still some more chests. Do to do some Lola elixirs, and further down we go. Ooh! Speed Stardust, or Dodge Stardust. Wait, what the? Huh. I can light that up, but it doesn't exactly do anything. I can also do that and recover some more HP. Uh, what else is here? Um, seems like we're at the bottom. Rise, my warriors! Where could they be? No. All trapped in Aaron's labyrinth cell. Oh, whoa. The brave Katagida. Fallen to night's spell. We must free them. The gates lie at the camp's center. The labyrinth is magical. Be careful when you enter. Well. Like I said, it's only right. And also, I can, I can enter through here. Okay, there's a guard. Let's kill the guard. Well, that was, eh, I wouldn't say even mildly annoying. I mean, apparently those, wow, lots of level ups. Those feather guards have quite a bit, well, they can put on a defense. I mean, basically ultimate armor on their allies, but you know what? Those beasts are still weak to light, so not much to worry about. Bless you, spirit, for your sacred light. Stop it. You're making me turn bright. <laughs> oh, Nicholas. So, it doesn't seem like there was anything in here except some wishes and a guard. Alright, well, there are a few more of these tents. So, let's go ahead and clear them out and see if there's anything of worth in them. Um... This one doesn't seem like it has anything in it. No, there's absolutely nothing in this one. Well, okay. 
Uh, what about the one on the other side? Stardust! What a curious dwelling. My old station. Home of the captain of the Lemurian Guard. Here I raised my younger brother. Taught him how to charge. Wait until you hear our stories, princess. So many battles he and I fought together. The queen heard him. Come, we must rescue them down in the nether. Alright, well, I'm getting that, that's for sure. That is... Sweet! HP Stardust! Uh, who to give that to? 288... Um... Well, Ongiz doesn't need it. Um, I would still wager Aurora. Yeah! Oh, and the Dodge Stardust. Um, well... I suppose I can give that to Robert. I mean, he is the person that could definitely use... Ch Wait, is it me or... Does Robert's stat seem lower than before? I thought he had a higher dodge and a critical hit chance. Hmm. Maybe that's just my imagination, but I'm pretty sure he had a higher dodge chance than that. Oh, well. Oh, right. Also, skills. Completely forget that whenever we get conversations with people. Alright, so we're working towards that, and... Um... Well, that's... Ultimate armor. Oh, that would actually be really nice. Um, I would like to work towards haste, though. So... Yeah, we'll work towards the better haste and then the ultimate armor. All right, we're almost done here, but there's still one final tent that we need to go through. Nope. Wait for it, and get him. Hooray! And more rubies! Awesome! Seriously, it's like they don't even see it coming. you think they'd expect the dra- Dragonfly to like stop them, but then again, they don't see their buddies being killed. Think the loose leaves you're aboard. I feel safe behind your sword. Much gratitude for bravely fighting as the princess's ward. Aurora, just one question. How come princess he gets to call ya? Because Finn, it's simply an expression. Or the fact that she's finally acknowledge just who she is, really. And since Onyez is a guard of basically Lemuria's royal family, I guess in Aurora's eyes it's alright for Onyez to call her a princess. But that will do it for this episode. So, next time on Let's Play Child of Light, we are going to head into the cellars where Onyez is kinsmen are being held. Hopefully we'll be able to rescue them and sever their... Well, I wouldn't really say sever their connection, but at least free them from Umbra's grasp. So until next time, everyone, take care.